I'm Danny Lyre, and today I'm looking at buying some property, but I'm not looking at buying a masonette or some trampy bungalow. I'm looking at buying Hampton Court Palace. Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? We're now ready for takeoff, so please fasten your seatbelt. Fucking people have come here to see me, it's fucking blind, I tell you. Absolutely buzzing, I don't know where to start. If I want an autograph! I ain't got a pen on me, so... <laughs> Where'd you buy tickets to get into the Hampton Court, the actual main? The palace? Like, yeah, because I'm thinking of buying it. Okay, in the <laughs> gate? No, so I'm, 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 I'm house hunting today. <laughs> we are here now. How much is the Jiminy yes. Cricket? Uh, today is 10 pounds. 10, all right, Paul yes. McKenna. Do did, did, did the rooms come with better, uh, they've got en-suites and all that in them? Yes. Lovely job, though. Obviously, because I'm uh, an actor and that, can I get in for free? You, you have to ask them. All right, see you later, everyone. Yeah. See you then. Uh, obviously, when you're house hunting and that, it's, it's right that you, I want a fairly decent sized garden. Um, trees and everything. How are you doing, you all right? Don't you really try? But, uh, obviously. Got our butler service and that. Um, <laughs> did you do Stella? Excuse me? Well, the bombs or cheeky tequilas. I looked at a masonette yesterday. Um, no, the decor weren't right. Um, I don't like Dulux vinyl mat. Um, I prefer a little bit of Leyland and McPherson's. Too much of a sheen to it, you know, I like a flat finish. Mind you, I'm more of a glossy type of person, you know. I'm out there, you know. How you doing? You alright? I'm Danny Lyon. It's absolutely perfect. Flowers and that, I love flowers, because I used to go out with a girl called Rose. Then I dumped her for Lily. <laughs> Sorry. See, so what I'm thinking is, you know, I could have that. Obviously, it's my main gaff. This could be for a few of my mates. Uh, fucking all 23 of them could fit in there. No problem. Robbo, though, he'd need two rooms, mate. He's a massive unit. When he walks past the telly, you miss two commercials. Yeah, no, perfect. Definitely nice little gaff. That on the side over there. Excuse me, mate. No leaning on the bollard, please, mate. Not in my gaff. Cheers, mate. Thank you. You know what I mean? You've got to have a bit of respect. You can't have people leaning on bollards and stuff like that. All right, I'll let the people sit on the grass, no problem. I ain't got issues with that. Grass is made to be sat on. And ate, if you're a cow, that is. Fucking talking about cows reminds me of my ex. Slut. This is a map of the house. I'm just going to try and view it, see how much, uh, how much they want for it. going to put a bid in for it. I'll tell you what, that Percy Ingalls advert has weighed on so sweet. Absolutely sweet as a nut. I'm absolutely rolling in Benjamins at the minute. Um, Benjamin's is an American slang for cash. Look at that. Looks like a skinny Wayne Rooney. Can we book a holiday? Seems to be a bit of a mistake. Uh, we just have to go to the ticket office, purchase some tickets to get into the fucking ass. Probably made a mistake. Uh, not many people don't recognise me, but let's go and see what happens. Is it right? Yeah. I have to yeah. I'm Danny Lyre. So, yeah, just, you know. Danny Lyre. Uh, is he, what do you say, exactly? <laughs> uh, you've got a great sense of humour. Yeah. I'm an actor. You're an actor? Yes. Yeah, like, if you're famous, you have to pay. Yes, of course, you have to. Alright, I'll have to claim it back and uh, send the receipts to my agent. Alright. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I was insinuating there, uh, doing him in the gin and rum. I'm not gay, by the way. Never do that. Terry and Stuart times, even they got out of their nut. Look at this bloke, he's had too many fucking cans of Stella, I tell you. You all right, son? You at your nut? You look at this courtyard, right? Bobby the Eighth used to walk around here. Bobby the Eighth was a geezer with a ginger beard, big lump. No one fucked with him. Uh, who just used to just chop his wife's loaves of breads off when they fucked him about. To Lisa wouldn't last fucking two minutes in this day and age, that's for sure. Especially when she gives blowjobs like a fucking piece of sandpaper while we get a nosh off a hedgehog. Good day. Yeah, I'm having a great day. We will. Sorry for I can do, can I sort it out? <laughs> you perhaps eliminate her and. Um... Eliminate, as in cut well, your head off. You could no, perhaps you woo her and 
take her into countryside. Yeah. I'm already promised. That sounds a bit like doggy. So you want to have a little bit of a live now? There you go, son, that'll pick you up. Tell Rod I'll be back later. That's acting, because he ain't real. Obviously with those windows, I'll have to, uh, can't be having that. They look tacky, I'll have to get some bubble glazing for you. One thing, if I move into a gaff like this, that's got to go. I can't be having that. I have to block that out in Dulux Superman. Another thing I've said to the estate agent, you know, if I'm going to move into a gaff, I need plenty of artillery, plenty of weapons, grenades, spears, guns, bats. Being famous, you know what, you're constantly under attack. Um, problem is, I, if I do come under attack pretty quickly, the fuck am I going to get up there? You know, I mean, I can grab a spear, which is over there, it's quite uh, It's gonna be useless if someone comes in with a gun, you know what I mean? Look at that flower pot over there, that's gotta go. Whacking an LG telly there, you know what I mean? 3D, I love it. Great for pollen. Blowjobs have never been the same ever since. It is said that King Percy the Seventh done copious amounts of dicky off that table. Parties would go on for days and days and days and days in rooms like this. Which is why I've got to have this house, because I throw a great party. Mahogany. This is the very bed of one of the kings. That they're probably going to leave him for me. They're going to have to change the bed sheets, because apparently he was smashing birds left, right and centre. Not too sure about the curtains on it either. I like beef curtains, but I don't like curtains on my bed, you know what I mean? I've asked, with my house, can I have a couple of salad bowls? I can rustle up a nice beetroot salad in those, you know. I'm Danny Nyer. Looking, looking like she don't even know me. Probably double took me as well, I bet. It's mad that even in the Terry and Stewart era, which was like a good 120 years ago, they even had baby monitors. Mental. Yet they didn't have electricity. The king was so far advanced compared to everyone else. He had special units and battery charged power packs. I don't know. He'll have to make his doorways big because when Fat Malcolm comes around, he can't fit through that. He won't be able to get through his sideways. He'll have to go through like that. Oh, those little moves, by the way, little Michael Jackson move. Oh, look, that last one, you've got a few people behind you, by the way. Sorry, man. Plenty of birds around today, by the way. Loads of birds. They can stay. Man, you know what fair? Hmm? You from Manchester? Yeah. No. Didn't think so. Glory, Anna. Look at this. You know what I'm thinking, didn't you? you? Throw out all these shitty statues. Get a bit of astroturf here. Go that side. Go that end. Floor, but we can definitely have a five side goal. Either side be perfect, absolutely perfect. I'm buzzing, absolutely buzzing. Come on. What I'm thinking is, I'm thinking of moving my agent in with me so we can do deals here so where we can chat. Obviously, I'm going to rip all this out, throw the paintings away, and just paint it all in white Dulux vinyl mat. Maybe diamond mat, have it a bit washable, you know, depends. Walk-in wardrobe, perfect. T-shirts hung off that. Jeans, shirts, nice dicky dirts, tennis rackets. And look up there. That is Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer's hoofs. and be romantic on that, you know? A couple of birds, me in between. A bit like Lucky Pierre. Now she's on my bed. Don't get me wrong, I'm no, I'm no Jimmy Savile. Cinema room. Nice little bit of sweet Colombian owl right over there. And they've uh, the estate agents have supplied me with it. I'm very happy about it. So nothing.
much as a courtesy of the sultry bowl. Indeed, you're very. Sorry. Have you boys got a Twitter account? I have no idea what you just said, sir. You know what? All in all, I'm absolutely buzzing today. Absolutely buzzing. Um, lovely gaff. Absolutely. I'm happy that the BBC organised this for me to have a little look around. It's a little bit small uh, for what really I was looking at. But there's a lot of uh, work that could be done, a lot of potential, you know. I love the idea of a king living in there, you know, because everybody calls me the king of the East End and the king of films and TV and whatnot. Uh, so, yeah, you know, Terry the Eighth lived there, so, and he had a few birds. But I'm going to go home, watch a bit of Come Dine with me. I'll have a think about it. So I'll see you guys soon. Take care. I'm getting higher.